Okay, so with these um, questions, we're looking at circumference of a circle. So we'll remember the formula for circumference, which is actually 2 times pi times r, which is the radius. Okay, so with these composite shapes, what you've got to do is you have to add up, when you're finding the perimeter, you have to add up all the sides. So what we're going to see is in this, say, this first example, what we have is we have this little section and that's a little part of a circle. So if you thought about a circle and you could see if you broke it up into quarters, what we have is we in this example, we have just this bit. That's that bit. So if I'm going to find the, the perimeter of that bit, what I, this bit along here, what I'm going to say is I have a quarter of a circle. So I go a quarter times the formula for a circle, which is 2 pi r. This is the formula for the circumference of a circle. And here, obviously, um, this bit along there indicates the radius because you look, it would be that bit there, which is the radius. So in this um, question, we can do p equals a quarter times 2 times pi times 4 because that's what the radius is. Now, we also still have to add the other bits of the shape, which there's a little flat bit here, which they're telling us is 1. So I'd also have to add 1, add 1. And there's also this um, straight bit down here, which would be adding another because that's the same length as that other side. So you pop that all into the calculator. Um, so you do a quarter times two times the pi button times four, then you add one, add one, and add four, and you should get your answer. But we also have to remember too to add this four as well. So we've actually got another four. So pop all that into the calculator to get your answer. So end up with an answer of 16.28, and this was measured in centimetres. So the perimeter for this shape is 16.28. So if we go and let's do this again. So if we look here, we have three quarters of the circle. So when we're finding the perimeter, we're going to say we have three quarters of the circle formula, which is 2 times pi times r, which is 1. Okay, and the radius here for this one, so this is showing you the radius, which is actually going to be 1, so um, there. But we need to remember too, we still have to add these flat sides, and they're just the radius length, so it's like adding a 1 and a 1. So we'll also add 1 and 1 to get the total perimeter. So you do the, pop that on your calculator. So you do 3 quarters times 2 times pi times 1, then add 1, add 1. All right. Um, I'll let you all do that. So with this next one, this is actually here. You have half a circle. So we're going to say when we're finding the perimeter, we're going to say we have half of the perimeter formula, which is 2 times pi times the radius. Now, they've given you the diameter, so the radius is half of it, which is 10. So I'll go times 10. But then we also have to add these two flat sides, which they're telling us the um, dimensions there. So we'll add to our answer 14.14. And for another one, 14.14. Okay, um, so we just add those in. Here in this one over in the corner, it, just, it sort of helps you here when they tell you you've got 90 degrees there. So that part, so when we're just finding the out curved bit, it's actually a quarter of the circle. So we've got perimeter equals a quarter times the formula which is 2 times pi times the radius now they've told me what the radius is in there which is 3 but remember we're going to have to add these two sides on which are 2 
fives like that, then you'll get the answer. Okay, so with this one, you've actually got, if you looked, if you continued that circle around like that, you've actually, with this part from here around to here, is actually three quarters, because you can see they're cutting out this bit. So it would be like three quarters. So if we're finding the perimeter, we're going to say we have three quarters of a perimeter of a circle, which is two times pi times r. And then you will add any flat bits, which there's one across there. So we'll have to add 2.8. Now we've got to work out the radius, but they've told us here, well, they're giving us the distance from the center to the end. So we can see that that's two. So into the calculator, three over four times two times pi times the radius, which is two, then we'll add 2.8, that flat side. Okay, so I think you should be right now. If you look at these ones, this one's half a circle. So you've got half a circle. Here on the next one, there's three quarters of a circle. Okay. Now, with this last one in D, it is a little bit harder, but this bit plus that bit, if I joined, if I moved it together, you can see we get a full circle. So this purple bit is actually just a normal full circle because a half bit plus another half bit. So you just can use the formula for a circle, which is two times pi times r. And then we have to add this big bit out the back, which is just like having a big circle. So we're going to add half of the big circle, so times 2 times pi times r. So these little these circles have different radiuses. This one, they're the little circle, and it actually has a radius of 5. So I'd put a 5 in here. And the big circle actually has a radius of 10, so I'll put 10 in there. And you can just type this into your calculator, plus that typed into your calculator. Okay, so give them a go and see how you go.